Hey guys, so today is my baby shower or like my sprinkle or whatever you want to call it um, for my baby. So I just wanted to, I have wet hair, <laughs> I just wanted to film myself getting ready. I don't know if I'll ever actually post this or if it'll just kind of be for me to look back on for like nostalgia and stuff. But yeah, I'm in my robe and I just got out of the shower. It is 12.22 and the party starts at 2.00. So I need to rush a little bit, but like not too bad. It is at um, Brendan's sister's house. She, the, her and uh, Brendan's mom decided to throw me a, a shower, even though it's like my second baby. So I know like not everyone usually does that for your second baby. So, um, but yeah, they wanted to throw me one, which was really sweet. And so, um, yeah, it's at her house. She lives like 10 minutes away. So I think we're going to be good. I'm just going to start with putting on some moisturizer. I'm gonna mix in some MAC uh, strobe cream. I might not talk a ton about products in this video and I'm so out of breath, but um, I just thought it'd be fun to just kind of like film getting ready and I can like look back on it when, you know, I'm older and when she's older and stuff. Um, I only have 19 more days left until I have my C-section, which is so exciting. Oh man, I wanted to do my eyebrows first. Uh, I'll just do them anyways. Do I have my thing over here? I think I have some. Yeah, here's one. I'm just gonna like fix my eyebrows and if I have a mustache at all really quick. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, 36 weeks and two days pregnant today, which is super exciting. Um, I only have 19 more days until our C-section. Our C-section is October 18th. Today is the 29th of September so yeah and we were kind of stressed out this morning because Brennan's mom texted us and was like trying to figure out a new location for the party I was like what <laughs> um because it's downpouring rain today like really bad um and it's only gonna be like the high of the 50s and their theme was like a, a baby queue type of a thing and it's raining super super bad <laughs> so they were like we can't even do it outside anymore we don't know where we're gonna do it and then my mom called and was like yeah i talked to brendan's mom about like maybe canceling it or like postponing it and i'm like what like it's only a couple hours away and if we postponed it i only have 19 more days left like there's not much more time for postponing you know but um, then Brendan's sister said she would just try to like get her house ready really quick so we can just do it there. So that was really, really nice and sweet of her. She, you know, they didn't have to throw me a party or anything. And I just, you know, I just feel special that they are doing that for me. So, I mean, this is like the fastest I've ever done my eyebrows. So hopefully they don't look terrible, but we'll see. But yeah, getting ready now. Um, Brandon is with Nolan. He's eating chicken nuggets <laughs> or chicken fries. <laughs> and um, he already took a shower and stuff. So we all we have to do after I get ready. So I have like another hour. And all I have to do is do my hair and makeup, get dressed. Brandon's going to iron like our, our clothes because he's like the ironer. Um, and then that's all we have to do. We just head out. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm a little bummed, bummed about the weather, but I mean, it's fall. So what do you expect? It's going to be like in the 50s and raining all day today. So yeah. Okay. So that's good enough for that. I'm just going to put a little bit more moisturizer on over that. Excuse my background too. It's super messy, but that's okay. Um, so yeah. I'm really excited. What else was I going to tell you guys about the party? <sighs> I have like the cutest little outfit picked out. I didn't want to have to buy anything because I haven't bought any clothes this year. I've just been like on a really strict budget and stuff. And so, um, poor, poor professional. Um, I just like found like this maxi dress that I've had for like years and years. It's navy blue and it's really stretchy so it's good. And it goes all the way down and it has like a tribal like white tribal print right there and it looks super like fall and cute um and then i was like looking at sweaters and i wanted to pair with it 
and I wanted it to look like really fall, you know? And so, um, I pulled out my like mustard colored, um, sweater, like cardigan. And then I put like a, like cognac colored, like braided, um, belt, like around the outside of it. And it looked super cute. That's why my nails, I tried to like give them to match. They don't look the best. I used Revlon Midnight, uh, Sinful Colors Pullover and Sinful Colors Glitter Over the Gold and All About You. And it matches like the colors pretty good. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was kind of fun. It's not the best <laughs> nail job ever, but that's whatever. Um, what next? I'm gonna do some concealer. But yeah, so I was like asking Brennan, I was like, what do you think about this? And he loved it because it's like Mich U of M colors, you know, Michigan uh, colors. And um, he was like, I have the perfect like fall flannel to match and it matches it so perfect and so cute. And then we went and looked in Nolan's closet and he had um, a, I don't know what it would be called. It's like a pullover sweater that like the collar folds down. It has a couple buttons. What are those called? But he had one of those that was um, navy blue. And then the, uh, it had like some stripes on it that are like a mix between like mustard and pumpkin spice cut type colors. <laughs> I look crazy right now. That was that Tarte concealer in medium. But, um, yeah, it fits him perfect. It was too big on him for the longest time, but now it finally, like, fits him pretty good. And he hasn't worn it yet, so it'll be the perfect little thing, and it matches with our outfits. So cute. So I'm excited about that. Oh, I'm so out of breath. That's not even funny. I have a really bad headache, too, because... Uh, I was like getting worked up this morning when we were like trying to figure out like if we were going to cancel the party and I was like I'm going to have to can call everyone and cancel and then my mom was like would it be less stressful if they did it like in their house and like our side of the family wouldn't come <laughs> so that like it's less people and then like I was like why would I want not want my family to be there but my grandma's really sick uh, and so is my uncle and he's the one that like lives with her and drives her now. Um, so they weren't going to be able to come, so I was like, it would literally just be like my mom, my dad, my brother, and his girlfriend just like not coming, which made me really sad, but, um, <laughs> she was like, I'm sorry, we'll come, <laughs> so, I don't know, it was just like a big mess, but I'm just glad that we're getting it, we're getting it uh, done and we're going to be able to have it, so, yeah, CoverGirl Foundation. Oh, my back really hurts. I just took some Tylenol for my head and my back, so I'm hoping that I start to feel better here soon. But yeah, she texted me today, Brennan's sister, and was like, it was going to be so cute. I had like all the stuff planned for outside, like um, like fall games and stuff like that. And um, there was going to be like donuts and cider and like we were gonna grill burgers on the grill and just like I don't know st some cute stuff like that and she was like I'm just really disappointed that I can't have all that out there because it's so rainy well it sounds like it's gonna be so cute they haven't really told me a lot of details about it because they've just been kind of like planning it and didn't want me to like <laughs> I don't know have anything to do they just wanted me to kind of like relax and just enjoy so I didn't really know what they were planning but it sounds so cute and kind of sad that she um couldn't do all that and she said she even like had like bales of hay and stuff like that for her backyard so I felt kind of sad that it didn't go uh as we had planned but I'm still so excited I'm just excited to see everyone um one of my friends from out of state is here so I'll get to see her I haven't seen her in a bit and then two girls that I work with um that they got moved to different branches um they're going to be there today, so I haven't seen them in a little bit, too, which is nice. I'm just using this Maybelline, like, loose powder. And I just started using this Sigma brush um, that <laughs> Makeup by Tiffany D had recommended, and I bought it, like, last year for Black Friday deal. And I don't know why I, like, never busted it out. I just, like, I kind of forgot about it, and anytime I'd, like, think about it, I'd be like, oh, I need to bust that out, and I just keep, kept forgetting and so a couple weeks ago or maybe a few days ago 
I bust it out and I really like it for like under my eye right there. Like it fits like so nice. And I can like do my smile lines. And like right here in between my eyebrows. Like basically like everywhere that I like to put the loose powder. So that's been kind of cool. I've been liking it. I need more powder. <sighs> okay. 12.32, so for 10 minutes. I have plenty of time. I still have like a half hour to finish doing my makeup. And then I was planning on curling my hair today because I haven't curled it in so long. And I was like, that'd be really cute. But with the rain, like <laughs> there's no way it would never stay with how straight my hair is. So I'm just gonna wear it straight. I might put it like half up and like bump it or something, but I don't know. That seems like a lot of work and <laughs> I don't know. I have a headache, so I might just like just straighten my hair and make it look cute. My outfit is pretty cute, so I feel like that should be fine. I'll, I'll try to post a picture like on Instagram or something of um, my outfit or like the family of us together with our little outfits because I think, I think it should be really cute. I don't know what pants no one's going to wear yet. I don't know if they'll wear jeans or like khakis, but <sighs> yeah. I think, I don't even remember what Brendan said he was going to wear. I think he's going to wear jeans. But yeah. <sighs> I'm just so excited for her to get here. We have still a lot to do, which kind of stresses me out. I just made a list of like everything for our hospital bags. And I went to the store the other day and got like all our like travel size toiletries and stuff. So that I like have them together. So like if something were to happen... And I went early, at least it's like all together and I can just like grab it really quick and throw it in a bag or like have Brennan come back and get it. Like if it was like an emergency type situation and we have like the list of like everything we need like typed out and stuff. So <laughs> I'm glad to at least have that, but we just got the car seats in. We need to put those in our car because we only have 19 days or like 18 days till she you know, left to do stuff. So 18 more days to do stuff. Um, I still have like some other little things like washing some more of her clothes. Oh, and like, uh, we need to get her bottles um, and like boil those and like get them all ready. Stuff like that. But, um, and like get my breast pump set up and stuff like that. But I don't think it would, I, I feel like all of that we could get done in one day. So maybe like, tomorrow i do need to make an online order to target with our 15 percent off coupon with our registry um after today because i don't know if we'll really get a ton of gifts because it's kind of just like a like a diaper party or like a sprinkle or anything i'm not expecting to get like a ton of gifts we didn't invite that many people we only invited like 20 people so it's not gonna be like a huge thing and i don't expect to get a ton of gifts or anything but yeah so whatever we need to still get I'm going to do a, an order at Target, um, and I think I could probably get the free two-day shipping or something. So, yeah. Okay. I wanted to maybe do this really pretty, like, teal blue, na navy blue eye that I've been using with this color and then woodwinked that's been so pretty. I feel like it would go really good with my outfit today, but I don't want it to be, like, too much, you know? <sighs> Should I do it? Should I do it? Or I was thinking I could just use like some MAC shadows and just do like a classic like everyday type of a look. Um, I'm just going to do a classic look because I don't know how much time I'm going to have. No, let's just do, let's do the fun fall look. I changed my mind. Um, let's see. But then what lip color will I do? <sighs> I think... Let's just do the navy blue. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Maybelline like jade, kind of like a green color, but um, it's really creamy and it works really good for a base for this look that I've been trying. I should try not to put that much on the inside and just do it mainly over here. I just don't want it to be too dark. That's the only thing. I don't really care if it's colorful. I just don't want it to be too dark. Oh. Oh. Uh. I have like this huge bruise. I don't know if you guys will see that or not. And I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I don't even know if I'm going to post this or not. But I um, kind of got like 
force talked into getting the flu shot for my doctor because I'm pregnant and it's flu season and they were kind of like I don't know like really forcing it on me even though I'd never had a flu shot before and um I really like I don't know just didn't really feel like I wanted to get it but they kind of like I don't know like guilted me is the right word I guess they guilted me into doing it and um I'm just kind of upset that I did it because I was allergic to the flu shot and um a little while later I like couldn't breathe and I had like um like like itching like all in my like in the inside of my body and I couldn't breathe and my throat felt like it was closing so Brennan had to take me to the ER and um they told me I had <clears throat> like anaphylaxis or something um and then I was like super allergic to it and um they had to like give me an EpiPen shot in my leg and they had to um where's that one cream shadow okay sorry here we go yeah they had to give me like an Epi shot in my leg and um start an IV which that's what this is they had to give me an IV right here because they couldn't find a vein like in the normal spot and they had to rush and do it and it bruised it so bad um but yeah um it was terrible and I had to do like a breathing treatment like all this stuff and then they told me I'm like not allowed to get flu shots anymore which I never plan on getting one just because I just like I don't know I just never I don't really like getting shots or medicine and stuff like that so I just had never gotten one before but yeah, it was pretty terrible, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so this is the uh, Cream Shadow by Bourjois and Beige, I believe is what it is. I usually don't do it with this color, but I think it'll still look really pretty. Um, and then, yeah, this L'Oreal Hip Thingy and Sassy. I'm just going to take that teal, navy blue colored sign and put it over here. I always really like like navy blue colors and stuff like that on my eyes. And I did this the other day and I got so many compliments on it. I've done it a couple times since then. Oh, it has a ton of fallout though, so I'll have to clean that up. What time was it? 12.40, okay. I still got 20 minutes, I'm good. And that's like with us leaving early to get to the party early too, so. Okay, I know it looks a hot mess right now, but it will look better. Oh, I need a tissue. I have one of those like Kleenex hand towel thingies right there. I didn't want to waste one just for that, but oh well. my tissues are all gone over here. I'm so excited. Can't believe that she's gonna be here in like two and a half weeks. Like it just seems crazy to me. We are having our C-section early. I think I've told you guys that before, but um, on our 39th week, like on the dot, is when we'll be having her. So I'm just so excited. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up better later, but just to get the powders off. I got some of that shadow in my eyes. So I'll have to like clean out the inner corner too. Okay. Now I'm going to take um, Femfi. Just like getting really empty, which is exciting. And just kind of put that all on the inner and just brighten it up in there. I hope you guys can see like colors and stuff good, but like I said, this isn't like too crucial of a video for me. <laughs> I just thought it'd be kind of fun to look back on. I kind of want to um, do my makeup on the day that I have my C-section because, I mean, it's planned and like, I don't know, I could, but I do feel like I'm going to cry a ton. So I don't know if it would be like too messy and like you're laying down too when you're having a C-section and I feel like it's just going to be like, I don't know, kind of a mess, but... 
I don't know. I was thinking about doing that and then I could like film it and um, I don't know. I just thought that'd be kind of special. And then like, you know, when we do get like first pictures and stuff with her, I'll already have like had my makeup done, which is nice. Um, but I don't know if it'll get like messed up or whatever. So I don't know if that would be a waste, but okay. I'm using this e.l.f. eyeshadow thingy in brick. And I'm just putting that in the crease just to like blend it. Colors are coming off like way brighter. I don't know why. Okay. I have 18 minutes. It's like my goal is to just be done by one and then it will give me still some time. I, my hair is literally going to take me five minutes. If I just blow dry it and straighten it, that takes me like five minutes to do both of those. And it's like air drying quite a bit right now too, so that's good. Where is my one brush? There it is. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit of saddle. Put that right there in the crease. And then the prettiest thing to add, okay, so I'm just adding some of Woodwinked just like to brighten up and add like that gold color and it will look nice because my outfit's kind of like gold and navy. So these colors will be kind of similar to it. I'm like brighten it back up. This Femfi. And then... I'm gonna go back in a little bit of this too. It's not coming across as pretty on the phone as it is. Hi, honey. How's he doing? Good and Oh, good. I don't even think he knows that I was filming. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. It doesn't look as normal in there, but in real life it looks really pretty. I need like a Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna try to deepen it up, but it just keeps making a mess. Maybe just like not blend over it afterwards. Cause then it takes away that intensity right there. There. Just add a little bit more woodwink. And I have a lot to clean up underneath my eyes. That's okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, my back. Okay. I'm gonna take some of this uh, L'Oreal powder. This one like really cleans up follow and brightens. So that's a good one. I, I look so pale and white. Probably just because the lighting is so bright, but I don't know. <laughs> I look pretty tan in real life, I feel like. All the places I want to brighten. <laughs> Okay, I think that looks pretty. It's not showing up as like, I don't know, but it's pretty. I think it'll go really cute with my outfit too. Whew. Okay, so let's do, what time is it? 12.47, so I got 13 minutes, which is just enough time. 
Let's do eyebrows next. No, I'm gonna do bronzer next. So let's do that. Maybelline Mineral Power Bronzer. I had my friend uh, Liz's baby shower yesterday and um, she's due I think the last day in November because it's like right on the edge of being November or December and um, she's having her first and it's a little boy I was like struggling to like be at her shower because I was just like so pregnant like I can't really like move or like sit anywhere or anything but it was a nice little shower. And then she'll be at mine today, which is nice. Why do I look weird? Okay. I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of powder. I don't think I put too much on, but in the camera, I look weird. I guess all that matters is real life, but... Still. I just don't want to look weird. I don't know. Then for blush, I'm just gonna use some of this True Match blush. I've been kind of wanting to use something else, but this is like almost gone. I repressed it and it hit pan again. It's so close to being gone, but just like doesn't really do a whole lot. Then the winter it's better because I'm more pale, but I was wanting to use it up before the end of the year, so I don't know. Okay, for highlight, I'm gonna first use just a little bit of this Elf one. It's like literally almost gone. I had to repress that too. I'm like so hot. And then I'm also just going to go over just a little bit with this uh, Femme Fi color. Just like give extra highlight. I don't know what lip color to do. My lips have been like, like super swollen uh, this last like week or two. And that happened last time I was pregnant too. And I just am like scared if I do anything too much, they're just gonna look huge. Like, especially when I first wake up in the morning, they're just like Angelina Jolie lips, like they're huge. <laughs> so I don't wanna do anything too crazy. Okay, I have 10 minutes exactly. It's exactly 12.50. Maybelline Define a Brow. Just do a little bit of this. Oh, my back hurts. I need to like lean back. <laughs> we finally settled on her name a few days ago. I think it was like Thursday night, maybe. We had her first name picked out for a really long time. We're keeping it a secret. But we had been going back and forth on middle names a lot. Um, and then we like had one that we were like pretty sure that we were going to do. But we didn't want to like say for sure for sure for a while. And then on Thursday we were like, yeah, let's just, let's just name her that. That's what we like the most. That's what we've been thinking about naming her for a long time. So I'm glad to have that like set in stone now too. We ordered a little outfit with her first name on it for her like announcement picture. Um, I ordered it on Etsy and it still hasn't even like sh been made or shipped yet. And I did it like two weeks ago because we knew that for sure we were going to do that first name, but we just weren't sure about the middle name. And it still hasn't even shipped yet. And I'm like super nervous. We're not going to get it in time or like if I went into labor early, like I don't know, because it was like 30 bucks for the outfit, but I was like, you know, it's like the one like cute thing we're going to do, but if she like ends up coming early and we can't even use it, I'm just going to be like, can I just cancel the order? <laughs> but I'm hoping we just don't go early and we get it in time, but okay, I'm going to use some of this Maybelline dark brown brow powder on top of that a little, not too crazy though. They're coming down. I think they're gonna iron. Hi, Hi Mama. Hi, 
baby. But we made a truck. You made a truck? Yeah, we did the red one. Oh, God. Oh, but what are you doing? I'm putting my makeup on. Oh. For the party. Oh, yeah. I'm going to the bed. I'm going to the bed bed, Mama. On the big bed? Yeah. This is your big bed. That's not my big bed. This is your big bed. But this is my big bed. Mm-hmm. Try to look at Let's get you take out your candle. I think they fell off. Almost done getting ready, and then we're gonna all get dressed and go to the party. Go to the party. Yep. Yeah, go to the party. Is it be a smaller one? Yeah, it's a small party. Oh. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, good. Get, get my baby here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my pillow. Okay. Are you still in your Batman jammies? Okay. Papa's, Papa's doing, you Papa's doing that. He's shaving his mustache? Yes. No, his whiskers. His whiskers? He's doing that. Mm-hmm. Oh, did it fall back there? Yeah. Is it the red one? Yeah, it's the red one. Oh, yeah, I found it in her bed the other day. You left it in there. Oh. I know. <laughs> did you eat all your chicken? I found one of my car. Mm. It was on the big bed. <laughs> wow. Mama found it. Mm-hmm. Did you eat all your chickens? Uh, yes, I did. Oh, good. I'm a Dino Dan. Dino Dan? That's yeah. your favorite, huh? Yeah, this. <laughs> Me too. Your favorite? It is. Oh, good. her makeup for the party. Oh. Do you think you should wear those jeans or those khakis, honey? Jeans. I said jeans, but they're clean. I think they are. It's so dark!
12.58. It's my goal to be done by 1 o'clock on the dot, so we'll see. I'm on the last part right now. I was thinking about doing false lashes today, but I don't think I have enough time. And I don't want to accidentally mess up either. Mom had to shave her face today too. And my eyebrows and my mustache. Rupert, what are you doing? You hear him over there? He's like digging and biting. <laughs> I did like a navy blue and gold eye look to try to match our outfits today. So I hope it turned out cute. Rupert Ramon. Yeah. Purple. <laughs> he looks like another dog. It looks like one. It looks like a little dog. It looks like a little poopoo -poo dog. <laughs> it's a poopoo -poo dog upstairs. It's a poopoo -poo dog upstairs. It's a poopoo -poo dog downstairs. Yeah. Are we talking about my little stuffed animal one? That looks like poo, poo Yeah. I think it's over. It's, it's oh, it's back there. On my dresser. That one looks like poo, -poo. Rupert. I see that. Oh yeah, the paper towel. No, I see. I see this. Yep, it's a paper towel roll. Empty one. The empty one. Mm hmm. I'm doing this with it. Yeah. For stuff. Down, Right over there. Yeah. <sighs> What do you think, honey? Uh, Look good? Yep. Yeah? Uh, uh, my, my, my stuff down more. My stuff down on the dog. Who boys? My dog, my dog is up here. Yeah, you're one that looks like that. You guys ready to go to the party? No, I'm not. <laughs> you need to get dressed, huh? You gonna wear this? Batman jammy? <laughs> you can't wear a Batman jammy. No. Go to party? 